following tutorial, we'll explain how to set up and use the ESC Post Time to Payroll feature. This feature will allow you to post accumulated tech time on dispatches over to Peachtree's timesheets for use with Peachtree's payroll. To begin and simplify things, it is highly recommended that you run at least one payroll cycle manually within Peachtree prior to setting this up. Now let's get some information from Peachtree that will need to be entered into ESC. In Peachtree, go to Maintain, Payroll, Payroll Settings, Company Information, and choose Pay Types. Regular and Overtime are examples of some pay types. You will need to enter these pay types within ESC through the Peachtree Connection Wizard, so write down the names. Next, in Peachtree, each employee must have their earnings entered in the Pay Info tab of the Maintain Employees and Sales Rep screen. If you are using Sage 50, you must have an activity item created. Activity items are used in time and billing in Peachtree. Now let's switch over to ESC and go through the integration wizard. To do this, within ESC, go to File and choose the Peachtree Connection Wizard and run through all the factors of the integration until you get to the employee matching. Add or match all employees between the programs and then press Next. On the next screen, enter the hourly pay types or salary pay types. These are the pay types that you may have written down earlier. Also in ESC, your user must have permissions to run the post time to payroll feature. To enable this permission, go to Company and choose Setup Users. Select the user, click Edit, and then press Next. On the permission screen, under the Dispatch screen section, enable the permission Post Time to Payroll. In ESC, you should have your text set up with an hourly wage amount, and this is done in Dispatch, Inner Technicians, on the Generals tab at the Pay Rate field at the bottom. Now create a dispatch and assign a tech to it, and complete it with some valid time for the tech. Note how the times are listed on the Scheduling tab of the Dispatch. The travel time is calculated by finding the difference between the dispatch time and the time on the job, while the working time is calculated by determining the difference between the time on and the time off the job. On a weekly basis, you would run the Post Time to Payroll feature from within ESC. This is found under Dispatch, Post Time to Payroll. Click Begin, and all dispatches within the weekly period will be displayed along with the text and dates and times they worked. This includes both travel and work times for the text, which are combined for a single total. A text pay time can be modified in the Post Time to Payroll screen if necessary, but this is always a manual process. To post a text time worked on a dispatch to Peachtree, Ensure that the checkbox at the left side of the screen is checked and then click on Create. You will also be able to assign jobs to the time entries being posted over to Peachtree. Make sure you select the Activity Item in the Activity Item field. When completed, click on Save. Once a time entry has been posted over to Peachtree, it cannot be modified or removed within ESE. If you post an incorrect time to Peachtree, you must modify that time directly in Peachtree. Also, if you rerun the post time for payroll for a time frame that you have already posted, you will see all the dispatch entries in gray. To see the posted dispatch time entries for your text, go into Peachtree and click on Employee and Payroll on the navigation bar. Click on Time and Expense Tickets and select View and Edit Time Tickets. To view your text dispatch times within ESC, go into ESC and click on Dispatch, Reports, Tech Hours Reports. This concludes our tutorial on the ESC Post Time to Payroll feature.